Uranus is a gas giant with rings and moons. This one, Miranda, is the rough diamond of the solar system, a rocky little ice chip with cliffs taller than Mount Everest. It's cold out here. Uranus is 19 times farther from the sun than is planet Earth. In 1977, a star winks as it passes behind the planet. The winks reveal the rings of Uranus. Astronomers count nine. In 1977, Subsequently, 11 are confirmed. They emphasize the severe tilt of the planet, all of 98 degrees. Uranus orbits on its side. With a diameter of over 31,700 miles, it's far larger than Earth. But compared to Jupiter, that's modest. The moving arrow shows the odd angle of the magnetic field through Uranus. Compared to the rotational axis, the magnetic axis is offset by 60 degrees. On Earth, it's only 11. The atmosphere is mainly hydrogen, with helium and a touch of methane. The upper band is a narrow layer of haze rich in hydrocarbons. Below, hydrogen and methane, ammonia and hydrogen sulfide, and a transition zone of gas and liquid. Deeper still, liquid hydrogen, a mantle of ices, and a rocky core. Uranus has 17 known moons. One of them, Miranda, is shattered early in its life. Some of the debris forms the rings of Uranus. The rest reassembles into Miranda Mark II. That's the theory. It's unproven. But it does explain the rings. Or perhaps Uranus is struck by a body the size of Earth. That could account for both the icy rings and the tilted axis. Either way, the chaotic contours of Miranda are like a moon reconstructed. Miranda, less than 300 miles across, is a riot of geological form. The most spectacular, these ice cliffs, up to 10 miles high, fall from the top in this puny gravity. It would be 14 and a half minutes before you hit the ground. Uranus, where a day is 17 and a quarter hours, and an orbit of the sun takes 84 years. We've reached Neptune, last of the gas giants, last major planet. Neptune's solar orbit takes 165 years. This planet is 2,800 million miles from the Sun. Neptune, on the left, is denser but slightly smaller than Uranus. Our planet would stretch across Neptune more than four times, a width of just under 31,000 miles. To span Jupiter, 12 Earths or 3 Neptunes more than do the job. Neptune is the windiest place. At the equator, gales roar at 1,250 miles an hour. These cloud tops are cold, minus 330 degrees Fahrenheit. But the weather is driven by internal heat, something missing on Uranus. The great dark spot. Over a number of days, it changes shape. To the southeast, another storm, the Wizard's Eye, bigger than any typhoon on Earth. Neptune spins once in 16 hours. The atmosphere is 85% hydrogen, 12% helium, 
the rest mainly methane. There are four distinct layers. The outermost is stratospheric haze with lots of hydrocarbons. Lower down, hydrogen and methane, then ammonia and hydrogen sulfide, and a transition zone of gas and liquid. Toward the center, liquid hydrogen, a mantle of ices, and a rocky core. Neptune has two main rings. Parts of the outer ring thickened where material has clumped. In imaginary close-up, particles of icy dust. There are eight confirmed moons. Triton. 1,680 miles across, Triton has the coldest known surface, minus 396 degrees, yet it spurts blackened nitrogen. These geysers shoot five miles high, their plumes carried downwind in the wispy atmosphere. Triton may be a captured planetesimal, like Pluto, the planet beyond, a world at the very edge. Far beyond is the Oort cloud, a swarm of freezing debris that shrouds the solar system like a sphere. Closer in is more icy trash, the Kuiper Belt. Pluto, with its wide eccentric orbit, may well be a member of this belt and not a true planet. Pluto and its moon Charon have a combined mass of less than one-fifth of our moon little frontier worlds of methane and water, frozen in the outer gloom. On average, compared to Earth, they're 40 times farther from the Sun. Five billion years from now, the Sun runs short of hydrogen. It starts to expand. From a diameter of 870,000 miles, it floats to 200 times that size, a red giant. The nearest planets vaporize. Mercury, Venus, Earth. Then begin the convulsions. Like cosmic smoke rings, the sun puffs off a series of nebulae. The white-hot core is exposed. It collapses to the size of Earth, a white dwarf. Of the inner planets, only Mars survives in lonely orbit. Our sun expires as a dead black dwarf.